a very Centralia, Pennsylvania vibe here. This is Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. And uh, this is an area you can come down near the Devastation Trail, an area around a crater, one of the, the devastated area during some of these eruptions. But uh, there's a lot of vog around here, which is volcanic fog. I'm gonna show you that. Look at this crater. Man, that is cool. And it is pretty active. That is awesome. Now, obviously, I would say at night, that's really like glowing because that is absolutely liquid. It is a, what do they call it? A lava, lava bed or lava, lava lake? I don't forget what they called it. I had to come back at night. I had to show you what this looks like. So this is a little bit uh, out of sync for the video. So I'm gonna show you now at sunset or just after sunset, how amazing it looks here. I guess you call it a lava lake. I don't know. Wow. And the whole area down here, this whole crater just glows red. That is so cool. I want to show you the crowd here. There's at least 100 people here, maybe more, but for good reason. Some of these eruptions that happened, there's various eruptions that happened all throughout the decades and, you know, even thousands of years. But um, there's interesting maps that see like where different flows happened, lava flows happened. Uh, some lasting a few weeks, some lasting years. So this whole area was basically, uh, I would say, closed down in July of 1974 after an intense fissure eruption happened. It was about three days that it kind of all this lava flowed over the road, covered this whole area, covered uh, uh, about 760 acres I'll show you, there's an interesting area on the other side where the lava flowed down here and then down into, uh, I guess there's another crater over here, about 12 miles an hour it was flowing down. So this crater was formed somewhere between the 1500s and 1700s and once that was over and done with, there was actually a quarry down here. The Hawaiians used to uh, mine the, the hard rock out of there and make tools out of it and everything and then in 1877 there was another small lava flow that came in here and covered that all up filled up i don't know a few stories of uh of lava so that was the end of their quarry and then of course in 1974 that's where the lava flowed down into it put another 15 feet of lava in there. Look at this, you can get right in here. There's another area I want to show you. Now I read online that this is closed for repairs, but I mean, you can kind of tell by the condition of the area that I, I don't know if there's going to be anything. I don't, I don't know if they're going to be reopening this road. Very, very Centralia vibe here. If you don't know what that is, it was a town in Pennsylvania, an anthracite mining town. All the mines were underneath the town. A fire started in the 1960s underground into some way, or in some shape or form, it's still burning to this day. They were never able to put it out. And uh, the town is completely gone, really. I mean, there's just a couple buildings in a graveyard that's left. Uh, basically in the 80s most of that town had been torn down because of all the fissures and the steam vents that would open up and cave-ins in the ground. Uh, I made a video about that. I'll put a link down below. The 
road comes all the way down and goes to the water where I, I don't know what year the eruption was, but I think it was uh, sometime in the 1960s, the lava came all the way down and it went right to the ocean. It's just crazy because there's just not much you can do. You just have to kind of wait for the eruption to end. Who knows how long they could be? Sometimes it's days, sometimes it's years. And then they have to come in and clean the roads or re, you know, put new roads in. If you look close, you can see the new road that they had to put in just below the uh, where it's really green there. There's no cars coming right now, so you can't really see it, but it's incredible to see the, uh, the flow. It's actually a couple days later. So yes, I'm wearing a different shirt, uh, but I wanted to, I read about this and I wanted to come back to the national park and show you this. So I'm gonna fit it into the uh, video, but this is the original road here, the chain of craters road that goes all the way through the national park. And this is the old road. So I don't know when this, I don't know when this flow happened or when this eruption happened, but it came down this mountain here. I believe those are about 800 feet high. So it flowed over that 800 foot cliff right across the old highway. Just gobbles up everything. As far as the eye can see, lava. Tell you what, absolutely devastating, of course, but at the same time, so interesting to see. Um, just even the different textures and the different patterns. And other sections that kept going all the way to the ocean, which is about a mile, maybe actually, that's probably a couple of miles to be honest with you but it went all the way to the ocean. So just like I was showing you, the uh, lava flowed down these mountain sides here and made it all the way to the ocean. And this is where at some point it flowed right into the Pacific. That must have been amazing to see, especially at night, probably like a glowing red just falling into the ocean, steaming. Not too far away from the crater where we just were is this area with, it's like a sulfur bank all the steam coming out of here. So I guess th there's fissures, there's cracks in the earth here and they go all the way down. And then as the uh, water moisture makes its way all the way down into the cracks, it comes in contact with very hot gases and it creates the steam. Oddly enough, you can kind of compare a lot of Hawaii to Iceland just because of the volcanic action and all that stuff but um so when i was in iceland there was a lot of this stuff i mean whole town you know even the water from your showering it had that sulfur smell so it, it smells you know it's pretty stinky here but it's not as bad as i would have thought but it's kind of cool there are all these little kind of deposits or these little piles of rock everywhere and off in the distance you can see it almost looks like it's uh, the, like the forest is on fire, like the trees are burning, but it's, they're just little chimneys, nature's chimneys. So fumes emitted here include sulfur dioxide and hydrogen sulfide, and the two gases react chemically and they produce like a weird sulfur that looks has a yellow color to it. And that's what you see all over the rocks here, and that's what you smell. If any of you have ever been to any kind of a sulf sulfur bank like this, you'll know that it 
Not a pleasant smell. I'll leave it at that. This is a uh, up close and personal. Oh, it's not, whew, man, that's hot. It fog up the lens. That is awesome. There you go. That is really cool. <laughs> I've never been that close to a, a steam vent before. I'm gonna try to walk down this path without having the lens fog up. It is amazing how quickly the temperature changes. Whew. It's actually relatively chilly because there's not much sun out today, but man, as soon as you come in contact with the uh, steam, it is ridiculously hot. Whew. Look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me wipe this down. It is so hot. Whew. But it feels good when the wind comes through again though. Wow. All right, hang on, I'm trying to. My lens keeps fogging up. There we go. This was the first. I don't even know. Oh yeah, the path continues. Let's see. Just It just goes along this um, crack in the ground, this fissure, whatever you want to call it. Oof. Got to be a couple hundred degrees coming out of that. Whew. It takes your breath right away. All right. Of course, being very careful here. So, so far this has been Hawaii. I showed you a little bit of history, some of the awesome volcanic craters around here, some of the lava the sulfur banks and now steam vents here. This is amazing. This is the coolest thing I've seen, I've seen so far. But uh, it's a good time to end the video. Hope you liked it. Much more coming from Hawaii. I'm gonna continue on down this path. Whew, gonna give myself a nice sweat workout. See you in the next video.